morning, good morning world. Good morning guys. Another beautiful day in El Bolson. Not a cloud in the sky. What can I say? <laughs> it seems to be the theme. Today is an outdoorsy adventure day. We're going to be doing some hiking. Actually, this particular hike is probably considered the most like must hike, must see. Must do, must, must experience. Must experience hike within El Bolson. Yeah, and, um, so it's called Cerro Pil Triquitron. Yes. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Apparently the name means mountains hanging from the clouds very poetic we took a rural road to get here is a 40 minute drive what you do need to know is that a place that you can't miss here is bosque tadado mm -hmm. which is a forest with sculptures basically there was a forest fire many years ago and they decided to bring in artists to create sculptures with these burnt tree trunks mm -hmm. so that's going to be our first stop of the day yeah and then some more hiking so let's be on our way let's do it So, a bit of information for any of you wanting to do this same excursion, kind of independently. Basically, we went to the tourist office and asked if they had any suggestions on how we could get to Bosque Tadalo. And they said there's a shuttle service that happens once in a while during low season. It is every day if you're here during the summer. But basically, it's this van that departs from the main square. They take you up the mountain, then you have about four or five hours here and they pick you up again, bring you back into town. So I mean, what is that, like $8, $8, $9? Yeah, about $8. Yeah, yeah. so super easy to arrange. They, they'll give you like a little brochure at the tourist office with a phone number that you have to message on WhatsApp and you just ask the guy like, hey, are there any departures for tomorrow or the coming days? And he gathers a little group together and when he has enough people, you guys go up the mountain. So yeah, we just had to wait one day until they had a departure, which isn't bad considering it's low season. So yeah, it was a 40 minute drive up dirt roads, super scenic. He goes as far as you can get with a vehicle and we are pretty high up. If you can see from the mountains behind me, let's get going. <laughs> so we've got the sign right here pointing us towards the forest with all the sculptures, Bosque Tadalo. We've been told it'll take about 40 minutes to get there, which isn't bad. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And right away we have more information on the trail. So, once again a reminder, 40 minutes, 100 pesos per person. We are on our way. It's hot today. It's been like this. Yeah. So steep. Three quarters of the way there now. 250 meters. Yeah. 10 minutes to go. So the path itself is very easy, but the, the altitude does make you tired if you're out of shape like us. Oh. <laughs> are in the forest surrounded by really cool sculptures so many different styles and messages um admission here was 100 pesos i think i mentioned that on the way up yeah it's kind of like a little circuit through the forest you just walk around all the sculptures are numbered and you can see who the artist was where he was from the year of the sculpture so yeah it's super super cool and all of these sculptures are done on trees that burned down during the fire or fell down or were somehow destroyed here in el bolson you can't miss this place Yeah. 
So we just finished visiting Bosque Tallado. Man, I am out of breath again. This is unbelievable. We are now going to hike up to Refu Refugio, Pil Triquitron. It's kind of like a little hut where you can get some snacks. Here it says they have artisanal beer, hot chocolate sandwiches, homemade bread, pizzas, Welsh cake, and a little kiosk where you can get some snacks. About everything you ever good. want to have in life, right? How hungry are you? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it too. Food. So guys, we made it. We made it to the refugio. Refuge? It's like a little <laughs> hut. You can sleep overnight here. Like a lot of people, like hardcore backpackers, campers, hikers, they yeah. come with all their gear, spend the night here, do more hikes. We're just here for food. <laughs> um, yeah, first things first, we just ordered some wonderful meat empanadas. Welsh cake, we haven't had this since we were in Gaiman. We got a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. Looks like homemade artisanal bread. Looks wonderful. Yeah. And one thing I have to mention, all the food you see here, these people have to carry it up the mountain. They trek it up, hike it's it up. It's crazy. First of all, it's like a 40 minute drive to mm -hmm. get to the highest point on the mountain that you can reach with a car. Yeah, it's about an hour and hike here. It's all on their backs or sometimes with horses when yeah. needed so the fact that we can enjoy <laughs> a meal here is pretty special. I so appreciate that. Mm. How are the empanadas? Delicious. These are homemade. Wow. Like I'm pretty sure these are made right here. And same with the bread. Wow. This is amazing. You can't get stuff like this in the city. Um, we have sandwiches. I'm gonna try this little one. Ooh, look at all that cheese. No, they did not skimp out. <laughs> thick chunk of ham. This isn't like the little sandwiches de miga. This is no. like thick. Well, I guess they, <laughs> they're they catering, catering towards hikers who've been burning a lot of mm. calories. They don't want a little skimpy little sandwich. Hungry hikers, I'm happy. And before I forget the price for lunch, eight US dollars, which isn't bad considering how much effort has gone into getting the food here and yeah. preparing it for us hungry people. Plus it's delicious. Huh? It's wonderful. There's still dessert to come. Yeah. Yeah. Time to try the Welsh cake, guys. The Welsh cake. We like polished off that sandwich and empanada. It did not last long. We were mm. hungry. Mm. Oh yeah. It's dense but moist. It's nutty. It's got like a brown sugar aftertaste. That's the secret ingredient. Brown sugar. Mm. sure have so we came back into town we had i slept the whole way guys you did, you did. I, w I woke you up and you 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 had enough of an appetite to eat a sandwich and a slice of cake yeah. we shared that we went to mitski i think it's yeah. called yeah we've been there a couple times it's been yeah. really good and then we came back here had a siesta and so yeah i guess we thought we'd share some of our thoughts from the from the hike my thoughts do it do it. do it just do it i will say it's kind of challenging not because it's a long hike or anything it's just really steep the whole time mm -hmm. so you need to take lots of breaks you'll want adequate footwear you'll want to bring water sunscreen yeah. baseball caps so you need to go prepared otherwise you're going to be struggling yeah that's true what i liked most about it in terms of like the transportation we arranged was that we had lots of time we could like take oh, breaks yes 
We could take yeah. photos. We had time to have a nice leisurely lunch. We did. It was just, and the scenery was just incredible. If you get lucky and have views like we did, mm -hmm. in terms of the visibility, I mean, you just see El Bolson and all of the mountain ranges. Yeah, and yeah. there were a few people in our group who actually made it even further than we did. Mm -hmm. Like we went up to the hut and that yeah. was it. But the trail continues to a different viewpoint of Ipudin, a yep. lookout point of Ipudin. A couple of people made it there, so yeah, if you've got and the energy. Some people ended up staying overnight as well, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, so you <laughs> can spend the night there. You just yeah. pack your little backpack, bring your gear, mm -hmm. and from the hut to there is a hike that continues another two and a half hours to like the, the summit of that range. So yeah, it overall a fantastic. Attraction. A must-do hike in El Bolson. Oh, I would agree, yeah. And we'll have uh, more adventures from here coming soon. So, Sounds good. See you. Bye. Ciao.